Hi. How are y'all on this blessed Thursday? Poop Daniel. <laughs> Why you gotta come at me immediately with Poop Daniel? Like, I gotta fucking, I gotta fucking come in here. I gotta set up for a fat day. A Diablo 4. And then I gotta fucking see Poop Daniel. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I peaked it. I peaked at Poop Daniel. I'm done. Like, babe, that was the peak. That was it. I'm done. Poop Daniel, I'm, babe, I'm done. Let me call my wife real quick. Shelby, are you there? Yeah, Shelby, I'm sorry, but I peaked at Poop Daniel. It happened again. Yeah, I shit in the chair again. Yeah, I peaked at it. Yeah, no, I mean, I never shit in the chair in the first place, but I, I mean, I peaked. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, I'm filling the clawfoot bathtub up right now. Yeah. With hydrochloric acid, I'm dipping in. We're done. We're so fucking done. I, <laughs> I, I think I'm normal now. Been a really rough mental health week. Uh, I'm hoping I'm normal now. If I'm still in my cranky arc, I apologize. Uh, the last couple of days, I definitely have been in my cranky arc. Definitely in like the, definitely been in the like, I want to drive over someone with a, like a four by four truck, right? But yeah, I've been, I've been in my negative mental health arc. Hopefully I'm in a positive mental health arc now. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If I get a little, if I get a little like stinky and rude during the Diablo stream, <laughs> did I cure the Gollum game from you? Nah, it's um, uh, it, it it hasn't been just Gollum. I'll tell you that there there's been uh, like some stuff behind the scenes that I'm like, it's done, it's over. Nothing it localized entirely to me. Nothing nothing internet. Not no e drama, just to be clear. I don't want to spark any conversations about e drama. There's been no e drama. It's uh it's some family drama that was uh something was resolved and I'm pretty happy that it's over. Not even really family drama. I mean I if if you don't know about the nightmare situation that happened a month or so ago. Uh, there was, uh, I feel weird talking about it on Twitch. I feel weird. It's like, I don't want to like, I don't want to like trauma dump in Twitch chat. I've <laughs> but I think I'm out of my cranky arc. I We'll see though, we'll see. We'll see if we're a hog if we're cranking hog today. Oh, Diablo. Can I say, like, with Diablo 4, like part of me likes that it's so sludgy and dark. But the other part of me is like, man, I don't know, it's kind of almost too sad. Right? Like, I something about Diablo 4, it's so sludgy and dark and grimy. And part of me likes that, but another part of me is like, damn, this game is so grimy, so sludgy. One and two are sludgy and dark. True, true. You're right. You're right. This, this is true. This is truth. I guess I'm not a real Diablo head. It just feels so 
Everything's so sad. Like, you go out there, you kill wave-based mob, you get funny item, and then you talk to somebody and they're like, Yeah, this guy stole my carriage and fucked my wife. Then you go find the, the guy who stole his carriage and he's like, Yeah, I made her my wife and then somebody stole that carriage again and then fucked her and took her away. And then you find her and she's actually a 3,000 year old demon and you kill her. And then right next to her is a side quest where somebody's like, Yeah, somebody ate my kid. What? Somebody ate my kid. Can you go take care of them for me? What? They ate your kid? They ate my kid. Yeah, I don't know how it happened, but they just unhinged their jaw and they ate my kid. What? Yeah, can you go take care of the guy who ate my kid? And you go talk to the guy and he's like, John Child Eater. And he's like, I didn't want to. The demons made me. Please find the demons who made me eat that child. Then you find the demons and the demons are like, whoa, I didn't make that guy eat a kid. What the fuck? You can kill me, but like, what? Then you kill that guy. You go back to the guy who ate a kid and he's like, oh, I ate the kid of my own volition. I'm John Child Eater. What do you, who do you think I was? And you're like, what the fuck is happening, Diablo? You're like, John Child Eater, what? Like, I feel like I lost it somewhere, right? Also, can I say, anybody else playing Diablo 4 and think the renown system, like hunting for renown is fucking bullshit? It's poop. I don't remember any of my druid abilities. Holy shit. Oh, I even had points. Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. I don't remember a single damn thing about my druid abilities. I've been playing my sorcerer a little bit in my off time when I've been in a uh, sludge mode, and I don't remember a single fucking thing about druid. Like, what do druids do? Oh, thank you for the big sippy, Montgomery. I'm gonna... Mm. Can't say I paid much attention to Renown in my first playthrough. I just saw that you got more healing potions from it, so I kind of hyper fixated on it for a moment. And I was like, I want more potions. Me, me, I want more potions. Me, I love more, more potions, please. More, more, more. Give me a, give me a, ooh, ooh. It's like potion Costco. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm gonna, like, remember how the fuck druid work. Pretty much the same as my sorcerer, but a little bit different. Okay. Technically, the druid is a furry. I do be changing into a bear, but only when it's, only when it's necessary during combat. Somebody pretending not to be a furry. Listen, yeah, I transform into a hot bear. But, like, it's only for combat reasons, alright? Jeez. <laughs> Listen, I only turn into a bear for combat purposes. No, not for sex reasons. Stop it. No, I'm not going to wear like a fucking Ed Hardy really tight tee and then turn into a bear for you. I'm not doing it. As the gamepad control scheme, I kind of prefer it on gamepad. Um, Whenever I, I don't have like Activision CEO Bobby Kotick in my ear yelling, Good, good. I definitely, I definitely do prefer gamepad. What the hell, Brendan has money for new game? No, 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 no. I explained this in the first Diablo stream. I had a bunch of like Blizzard money left in my account from Overwatch. And I was like, fuck it. I will buy Diablo 4 and spend $10. You think I got game money? <laughs> you think I got game on my phone? You're crazy. I should just play the Diablo phone game instead, actually. You think I got game on my phone? Well, I do. Oh, I'm dead. Son of a bitch. That is like eight different elite enemies. What in the fuck? He got game on he phone. Yeah, I got Angry Bird Star War on my phone and you can't play it. I'm not letting you touch it. It's my Angry Bird Star War. Oh fuck, I gotta like get to that lethal shrine. Fucking break me out of these walls, please. There we go, Jesus Christ. I'm not like doing any fucking damage, Jay. I'm just getting my ass kicked, really. 
I'm gonna have to rebuild my Druid again, like, watch. I'm gonna have to relearn how to play the game as Druid again. It's fucking bullshit, dude. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, it's because of this man. The big man is getting me. Fuck off, big man. Fuck off, big man. Give me all your hammer. You, small man. I'm sending my dogs after you. There we go. I only did that because of the lethal shrine, though. I didn't do that because of my own impetus. So sad. Really bad at proccing my dogs. I'm too used to the sorcerer build. Give me those. Give me... Ooh, big hammer. Beast reminder. This hammer is the hammer that will make me always remember Mr. Beast. You'll never be able to forget him. Out of spirit. Imagine, imagine getting a superpower and it's just like photographic memory. And you have a really awful day with Mr. Beast and you're always going to be thinking about it. Like, imagine having a photographic memory, and the one thing you're always going to remember for sure is the day that you pooped your pants in front of Mr. Beast. You're so embarrassed. You're so embarrassed. You're so... <laughs> Mr. Beast hired you to come help him with a slide puzzle. He made the world's largest slide puzzle, and he's like, I'm tired. I'm getting 15 people with a photographic memory to come help me with the world's hardest slide puzzle. And you're like, oh, awesome, I can't wait to get my day in the sun, and you shit your pants. To be fair, you could just say it's one of his shitty candy bars. One of these days, I want Mr. Beast to, like, go really whole hog into it, and, like, make something that's actually edible for once. And then, like, that's all he does. He just stops making videos, he just stops doing anything. All he does is sell, I don't know, like, Mr. Beast really good popcorn. Mr. Beast launders and dries 500 people's pants who poop their pants in front of him. Honestly, I think if I ever saw Mr. Beast in real life, if I ever, like, somehow got myself in one of those content creator situations where you, like, run into somebody that's much larger than you, uh, I would immediately challenge him to a fight. I don't care that he has trainers. I don't care that he can get on, like, a perfect diet. Uh, I, ju I just, I just want to fight him. Not out of malice or anything, just I just want to fight him. Mr. Beast cheese popcorn. Mr. Beast's soylent popcorn made out of real people. I took 1,000 people that weren't doing anything to society, and I put them in a big blender. Libertarian Mr. Beast once again shows us how fucking epic he is. Mr. Beast pe Yeah, what if Mr. Beast sold his own beasts? When Daniel created Clash? Hey, listen, I fucking... I sent those fuckers an email. I sent those fuckers an email and I said, give me Markiplier, and they never responded, so. I'm just saying, I tried. They sell the Mr. Beast chocolate at my local 7-Eleven and I showed it to my mom and she considered buying it to eat. It's not good. It's like, um, if you want to eat the Mr. Beast chocolate, you can go to any Five Below and get any chocolate bar at the Five Below that's a little quirky and they all taste the same. I swear it's probably the same company doing it every time. I, I guarantee you could go to any fucking Five Below, any, like, dollar store, buy, like, a $3 chocolate bar, and it's gonna s taste the fucking same as the Mr. Beast bar. Garen fucking teed. Garen fucking teed. You're not getting any different kind of hyper quality out of it. It's just... It's just your generic, sloppy, wet chocolate bar. Oh, yeah, holding this is better. That right, that right, that right. Popping all my spirit off on that is better. Oh, the demolisher. Big hammer. Larger hammer. Now, I didn't want a larger hammer. I wanted a larder hammer. A hammer imbued with all the power of somebody's larder. What if I hit somebody with a hammer and they turn into a big pile of cakes and pies? That's what I'm talking about, babe. It's branding. I need some branding. When am I going to get my Brendan Swill? I want to sell, I want to, if, if I ever had to sell a product as like an influencer or content creator, help me, I, con I, I, I contracted the influencer. Um, if I ever had to sell like an item or like a merchandise item that's not just like a t-shirt, uh, I would simply sell unmarked bottles of like prohibition era booze. 
while the world forgets <laughs> Well, name. you ain't know if it's paint thinner or if it's drinkable or potable water. You ain't never know. It's like uh, one of the mystery boxes. You ain't know how much paint thinner is in each one. I, friend Dune Shrine. Friend Dune Shine. No, nah, not Moonshine. I'm talking about, like, mystery vials. Could be paint thinner. Could be bleach. Could be orange Fanta. You know what it could be? It could be Tang. You'd never know. What if it was Tang? You remember the Tang commercial with the fucking astronaut monkey? Could be Tang. What if you were... What if you wanted to Tang out? What if they were trying to stop you? They were trying to stop you from Tanging out. I don't know what I'm doing with those druidic spirit spirit offerings, but I should probably do, like, my class quest if I can find it. Come here. Stop hitting me. Stop hitting me. Stop sludging me. Stop sludging me. Stop it. Grow up, maybe. Thank you for the pants. I appreciate it. Need those pants. Fago Haze Nectar. <laughs> Why everybody's so haze-pilled today? Oh god, don't fear me. Please don't fear me. Uh, use me my big storm. I do like the storm. But then again, I think I just like, like, electric power. I like feeling like Marvel's Electro. Like, I fell into a vat of electric eels. That's me for real. Z Happy birthday, friend. Not my birthday yet. You still got 14 days. We're, we're, we're a little over halfway to birthday in, like, the month way. We're very close. You're close. You're getting closer. Hopefully the birthday stream can be a lot of fun. I've started planning stuff, and I'm hoping people like it. And if they don't like it, that'll be even funnier. Not even Storm? You pick Electro? Okay, all right. To be fair, Storm, I would never be able to pull off Storm's outfit. Let me be real with you. All right, I picked Electro because I can pull off Electro's outfit. I am not confident enough to be able to pull off Storm's outfits. Any of them. Storm has style and grace that I would never have. All right, let's be real here. Skills deal 4% increased damage to elite. Heal for life. These are pretty good passives. What is that? Earth skills? Storm skills? Oh, that is both. Neat. I'm learning. I don't want to poison. I don't need to poison. I don't want to poison. I don't need to poison. What's this ability? Howl. This is fully upgraded. My basics fully upgraded. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. What should I put this in? Wear bear? Hmm. Sure, wear bear. Yeah, I gotta do the I gotta do the like uh quest, the quest. Uh mostly just to get those passives. Any any amount of passives are a good amount of passives at a certain point. Love just getting me me my me me my my passive ability. And those are better. One of them gave me a rank of lightning storm, so now I'm up. Mm, beefy. Alright, too many elites. Too many elites. They're really throwing them at me today. Oh my god. You're so gunky. Why so many elites? Jeez. They're really tossing them at me. Oh, uh, legendary! Ah, orange ring! I did it. I got an orange. I'm pogging out. I'm pogging out. I got orange. I got orange item. What the ring do? I hope it's shit. Uh, one additional companion. Ooh! 
Three dog! That's really good. Three dog. Just like Fallout 3. Three dog! Hamburger, cheeseburger. Fuck, what do I need in the name? Oh, God damn it. Hamburger, cheeseburger, chicken sandwich. We got him. Three dog real. Hello, Wastelanders. This is Three Dog here with Galaxy News Radio. Uh, fuck yeah, dude. I'm fucking thogging out. I'm dogging out. Can't believe we acquired three dog. That's insane. Hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac, Whopper. No! Chicken sandwich. And now I got three dog attack. They do the big bite. That's pretty good. All right, who the big bad boss of this area? I want to see them. I'm going to fucking walk up to them and slap their ass. I'm going to walk up to them. I'm going to slap their ass. And I'm just going to say, nope. I want to keep that. I want to keep the funny necklace for as long as possible, to be fair. Because I really like the protection bubble that uh, legendary necklace offers you. I like it. I like it. You can check how many spirit offerings you got in the quest tab of your inventory. If you got more than 400, you don't need to pick up anymore. I'll take a look after I kill this guy. Get him, dogs. Hey, Brendan, how come you get to have three dogs? Mm hmm. Uh, I'm close. I cannot. I cannot use that. I have like you know. I I don't have I. I have a I have an amount. Almost four hundo. I have a little bit. I have some spirit offering. 348. Wow, you can count. That's crazy. <laughs> Numbers be like that sometimes. I ain't get them. Gotta buy me a book that just categorizes every number. What if there was a big book of numbers and it was every number, one through infinity? Always oh, trick. You tried to trick me, three dogs. That really does help. Holy shit. I think all three dog lunge? That's a good ring. I'm gonna be sad when I have to get rid of that. Yeah, what kind of bitch out here doing math? My hungry ass could never own a geometry book. Oh, I got tricked. Son of a bitch. Come on, bring out more waves. Wave of spiders. A whole wave of... Sp you got a whole wave full of spiders? Damn, bitch. You're entirely full of spiders? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it saddest day of my fucking life. Oh, I did it? Oh, that counts. Oh! That was fucking, that was fucking close. Am I scared? Am I feared? Oh, it's okay. I'm protected now, bitch. Yeah, I love the, uh, the enemy explodes on death, but also this enemy explodes on death full of spiders. It's a good bit. It's a good bit, he says, as he explodes entirely full of spiders. Stop that! You can't just say it's a good bit when something horrible happens. You can't just be like, it's a good bit, it's a good bit. What, what makes that a bit? You explode full of spiders. How is that a bit? Nah, dude, you don't get it. It's a good bit. My inventory is full. I gotta grow back home. 
It's a good bit. It's a good bit. You're filled with spiders. To the brim, I say. It's a good bit. It's a good bit. Bit. You know, bit is one of those words that gets overused to the point of I think it means nothing now. Like, what even quantifies something as a bit at this point in time? You know, I feel like the word bit is almost unquantifiable now. Like, what does that even mean? It's a good bit. Okay, but what does that mean? Well, it means it's a good bit. No, no, straight up. Seriously. What does it mean? Well, it means it's a good bit. What? Huh? What? What? Huh? What? Explain. Show hole. I can't even. Well, I gotta be like that someday. Someday it really just gotta be like show hole. Give us hole. Bring us the hole and wipe away the debt, Brendan. Fucking Bioshock Brenfin it out here. I'm <laughs> Who we got? Tomb Lord. That's crazy. More like bitch. Oh, you know what? He did he did survive my dog. I got that dog in me. He did survive the dog in me. I'm doing big ability. Come here, bitch. Stop hitting me with it. I don't care about your fucking whirlwind. I got one too, bitch. Me when I'm the hurricane. Me when I'm rocking you like a hurricane. I will say out of all the classes I've tried, I like Druid, I like Sorcerer, I did not like Barbarian. I felt like Barbarian really good at, like, survivability, but dealing damage, not so much. Just did not have a good time with Barbarian. I tried to play them a couple different ways, and each way I was just like, yeah, I don't like this. I kind of don't like, I do understand that Barbarian has the big weapon loadout where you can have dual wield and hammer and axe, but I kind of feel like the, that's stupid. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out the weapon switching. I didn't like that. And I do get that some people probably love that about Barbarian. I hate that. Because it just means, okay, but what if you have a build that's built all around using a two-handed sword and you only end up getting legendary one-handed weapons? Like, what? I don't... I failed penis class. Pick penis class. God, if only... Bobby Kotick. <laughs> Bobby Kotick already fucking had... <laughs> they didn't put that in the game. Do you still get the legendary effects for your whole class if, like, you're not using the item, though? Because that's the other thing that I got confused on. With Bjarbarian. I was like, what? what's even the point? Oh, okay. Weird. Xbox is streaming this right now. Maybe we should pop over there and demand a penis class. Phil Spencer, you will do this for me. You will give me the Diablo 4 penis class. Phil Spencer, you will do this for me. I demand the Diablo 4 penis class. I demand it. Dumbest fucking thing I ever heard. Grow up, maybe. Penis class? You're fucking silly. You see that CM Punk is getting a head start on tr causing trouble before collision? Uh, I saw they announced that he's doing some interview that people might not be happy with. Uh, wrestling talk, by the way, so close your ears if you're not a wrestling head. Uh, I saw that he's doing some interview with, like, ESPN that people would not be happy with. But I, like, that's the way they're promoting it. Like, obviously, he's, he's probably... I, like, 
he's doing this kind of like work shoot shit that fucking sucks where he's like trying to blur the line between reality. And it just, it just sucks. It just sucks. It just sucks. I don't care that it's like CM Punk totally fucking owns his enemies. I just hate the work shoot shit in wrestling. Any other TV show, you don't have an actor, you don't have Ice T in like Law and Order look directly at the camera and say, damn, I don't get paid enough for this shit to act as my character in this TV show. Like, why does it have to happen in wrestling? I don't like I don't I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I think it's stupid. I think work work shoot shit is always stupid. I think wrestlers oftentimes forget that like one of my favorite parts of wrestling is that you are a wrestler, but you're playing a character. Wrestling's a TV show, like any other TV show, but, like, some wrestlers forget that and then treat it more like reality and try to, like, blur the lines, and it's stupid, and I hate it. It's stupid, and I hate it, and I don't like it, and I'm never interested in it. What I keep saying about wrestling is, we need more wizards in wrestling, we need more warlocks in wrestling, and we need more goofy shit. I'm fucking sick of this, like, bland sports presentation, boring fucking... Yeah, but I'm angry at the company and and I'm shooting wink on your company because I'm fucking mad. I want more wizards, more goofy shit, more stupid shit. I want there to be more of a divide between wrestling and reality. Because the more you blur the lines, one, the dumber people get. Like people are like, my guy is the best guy, and I, he's freaking mad behind the scenes. Isn't that just anime? Wrestling isn't fucking anime. Wrestling is wrestling. I'm just fucking saying. Wrestling isn't anime. Wrestling is wrestling. Number fucking one. I hate that fucking take. I hate that fucking take. Wrestling is not fucking anime. Wrestling is wrestling. But also, wrestling could do to take a little bit more from anime and to blur the li like to unblur the lines a little bit He's upstairs in the great hall with his son Keep it quick Stick to your character you are an actor and a performer Like I don't It is a performance it is a wonderful performance but it is supposed to be a performance The more you blur the lines the dumber it becomes Dad I need to be out in the field with the other knights why the rush, my boy? Look at this dude. He's so fucking hungry. Personally, I think for wrestling, I think more of a clear divide between wrestling and reality is a good thing. I feel like too much silly, sh silly shit would make it harder to get invested. No! You know why? What was wrestling like when it was booming? It makes it harder to get invested the more you blur the lines. You know why? Because Smarks! All right, I'm angry, I'm upset. I'm not actually angry, I'm not actually upset. I'm a little heated, let me explain. Wrestling fucking sucks when you like blur the lines between wrestling and reality because all you do is you end up appealing to a hardcore audience and every wrestling promoter in the world is trying to catch this mythical casual audience beast. And the more you blur the lines, the dumber wrestling becomes because people are like, whoa. We we made the hardcores even more invested with our freaking reality bending tricks. And wrestling should be silly. Everybody knows it's fake now. You gotta lean into it. That's why I love when wrestling is goofy. The more fucking realistic quote unquote wrestling is, the more fucking boring it is. Right? Because then it just becomes, listen, I'm the top man. I'm the top strong man, and I'm going to beat you, other top strong man, for reason. Because you slighted me for reason. I would much rather have, I am an undead wizard, risen from the grave. I'm going to come, and I'm going to choke slam you and send you to hell. Way fucking cooler. During wrestling's heyday, during its 90s boom, 
Wrestling was also doing this. They were leaning into the goofiness. You know why they were leaning into the goofiness? It was because it was part of the pop culture. Nowadays, less people, less and less people watch television. They let they don't watch TV. So you kind of have to appeal to a hardcore audience. That's why they end up blurring the lines and do this. They do this boring fucking blur the lines work shoot shit. Where it's just empty. It just doesn't feel there's no weight behind it. There's no threat behind it. Steve Austin and The Rock weren't like that, really. Steve Austin was literally like that. The Rock was literally like that. They were characters. They were over-the-top, silly characters. Stone Cold Steve Austin once took a beer truck and sprayed the beer truck at somebody, drowning them in beer. Like, they were over-the-top, but they weren't silly. Stone Cold Steve Austin beer truck, which was then aped by Kurt Angle, who is one of the most serious, serious wrestlers of all time, with a milk truck. Like, I literally tore that apart. That's the dumbest take ever. Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock were both silly. Have you seen the This Is My Life segment? Go and watch the This Is My Life segment with The Rock and you tell me they're not silly. Do you remember when The Rock gifted Farouk a painted picture of himself? I'm not saying supernatural shit only. I'm saying silly shit. The people themselves weren't silly. No supernatural shit. They were normal people. You're missing the fucking point, Metaru. I just said wizard as an example of silliness. I didn't say that it only needs to be wizards and warlocks. Personally, I do want more supernatural shit. But also, I'd like wrestling to be sillier. That's why I like the elite. Is because Matt Jackson literally super kicked John Moxley in the face and his kick exploded. I love that shit. The, the, sorry that I'm going off on wrestling here, but wrestling should be more silly. Wrestling should be allowed to be more silly. The more you blur the lines with work shoot shit, the more boring wrestling becomes. Because who gives a fuck if somebody like fucking backstage stole your cake and pie and then you come out on stage and say, I'm really upset they stole my cakes and pies. I want to go to the other company. I want to... Literally, why is that a wrestling storyline? Who fucking cares? Who the fuck cares? I They stole my cake and my pie. I want to go to the other company. That's my storyline. I'm going to talk about how much I want to go to the other company. Shut the fuck up. That's not even silly. That's fucking boring. That's not silly. It'd be silly if they came out dressed like a toddler doing it in that voice. It'd be silly if it was actually about cakes and pies, but instead it's about that guy in the back doesn't respect his older coworkers, and I'm fucking pissed about it. I deserve respect. And then it's like, oh, this is a bit maybe, and then it's not a bit. He's actually mad about his coworker. And you're like, what the fuck is this shit? That's stupid. That's not even silly. That's boring. That's awful. Who the fuck cares what coworker A does to coworker B behind the scenes? And now coworker B is fucking pissed because he like was mad about something and let it fester. I know, I know, I know somebody wants to play devil's advocate to this, but like it's boring. Wrestling should be less like UFC. Wrestling should be enhanced characters, enhanced performers. You should be an enhanced version of yourself if you're playing yourself. I will always love the most quote-unquote realist shit that ends up being silly is Eddie Kingston is one of my favorite wrestlers because he's just a, a caricature of himself and all of his feuds are almost always in that character. They're in that vein. Rather than, I have a character... I'm a great babyface guy. My name is CM Punk. I'm a happy, and I'm happy to be back, and it's awesome. Um, I'm really mad that somebody said something mean during a promo that I didn't approve. So now I'm going to clap back at them in a promo on live television uh, in an unsanctioned in an in an unsanctioned way, and then I'm going to make myself really mad at this person uh, and then explode at a press conference. That's the work shoot shit that like needs to unblur. The lines need to be clear. That's that's my problem with modern wrestling in general is the lines need to be more clear and that's something that I think that WWE does very well. I just wish they had more people that I'm interested over there. Anyway, I'm done talking about wrestling. I went off for a while. I'm done.
finally come down from the mountain with a warning. So what you're saying is you despise Darby Allen and CM Punk. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no questions asked. Absolutely. And you know this. How? Did you and Laura discover something of interest? Perhaps this is all connected to what you saw. Two of my least favorite people <clears throat> that wrestle. Yes, I, I hate blurring the lines. I like Majef. That. I think Majef does it very there well for something that I hate. My and I do enjoy seeing Majef wrestle uh, uh, because he's like, I'm Majef and I'm better than you and I know it. Go and I love Majef. Uh, but sometimes I'm Majef also sure. takes it a little too far and then I'm like boring. We can talk more. But also, I'm critiquing the character, and I hate it when the character and the person, like, real backstage drama wama become real, and I'm like, stop it. I, I just, I, I'm bored. I cannot do that here. And that's, that's me personally. That's what I like to see in wrestling. I'd like wrestling to be a little bit more silly, because wrestling has always been silly, and taking the silly out of wrestling, why the fuck don't you just watch UFC? I love my Jeff. He did sing for me. I love that. That's part of the reason I love Majef is because he has classical training and he did a whole fucking song and dance. I love Majef. Majef is great. He's one of my favorites. My my two favorites in like AEW are literally Majef and Hangman Adam Page. So you know what I'm about. One, I love the fucking cowboy. I love the cowboy's overarching story because it is it is literally what I want out of wrestling, where it is it is silly at times, it is serious at times, but it is a full character storyline that is happening as you watch, as you go. I just don't like the work shoot shit because it just, it blurs the lines between wrestling and reality and then everybody is worse because of it. But also, I would like more wizards in wrestling. I would like to see more Abaddon on TV. I would like to see more women's wrestling in AEW. I want to see more wrestling. These are, these are my, this is my personal, I'm sorry, I'm talking about wrestling for so fucking long. I, I'm done, I promise. I'm done, I promise. I'm Diabloing, I'm Diabloing, I'm Diabloing, I'm Diabloing. I'm talking to the steward, I'm Diabloing, I'm Diabloing now, I'm Diabloing. I'm here about the incident. Jonan gave me permission to look around. <laughs> is Dominic the best character in WWE? Dominic is so fucking good. He said. He's so fuck. Dominic is so fucking good. Something... Unsettling transpired there. Now, Dominic is great, but he's no maximum male model, so I'm just saying. Let me tell you something. Nothing makes me pop more than the maximum male models. I swear to God, if they get repackaged, I'm going to cry. It's crazy that everyone hated him a year ago. Do you know why everybody hated Dominic a year ago? Is because what do you do with a legacy wrestler? This is why everybody hated Cody in AEW. Oh, fuck, cutscene. Realistic CGI cutscene. It's because Dominic grew out of the legacy and Cody never did. Cody's gone backwards where he leaned out of the legacy. He leaned into the legacy and then out of the legacy and then full bore back into the legacy. And that's why I still don't like Cody that much because it's all about my dad. My, my dad. I think I gotta win the big one. My dad. Like, I don't like that. Open up the scary door. What's inside the scary door? I hope it's not a demon mommy behind a flesh curtain. I'd be so fucking upset. If there was a demon... Oh, no, there's gonna be a demon mom behind a flesh curtain. This is crazy. I hate how some wrestlers' gimmicks are just, I'm this persona person's kid, isn't that cool? Well, the thing is, when you do the I'm this person's kid, eventually you have to grow out of it and, it, like, sustain and build your own character. And some wrestlers never do that, and it sucks. Each day a struggle to live up to your own legacy. Look at the guns. The guns are one of my favorite tag teams of all time now, because they're good in the ring, they're actually a good promo, and they've fully, like, broken out of my dad is Billy Gunn. I mean, hey, if a flesh door opened up inside of your room and you just opened it up and there was a hot demon mommy that was towering over you, wouldn't you also open the door? I'm just saying. I deny you. You have grown so frail. 
I can make you the hero you are. Return to the darkness from whence you came. I said away! Also, I'd let Lilith rip me in half. I'm not I'm not afraid of saying it. I'm not scared of saying it, all right? I'd let her rip me in half. I'd li I I I would be split like a log. I don't care. Take all my skin off. You're going to take my skin off? Cool. Take it all off. Take all my skin off in one big rip. No, thank you for the oh, 3380 Tetrabido. Do you have any thank thoughts you. on the Mist series? The game Do you be have puzzling. Any thoughts on the Mist series. I turn on the Mist series and then that game be puzzling. Um my great uncle had a copy of Mist, and I played it for 10 minutes once when I was a kid and said, fuck this, I'm playing Pokemon. That's my thoughts on Mist. I'm a simple, I'm a simpleton. I, I would describe myself easily as a simpleton gamer. If I, if I had to pick an elevated username for myself, I, I would definitely go with simpleton gaming. If I was a Minecraft YouTuber in 2016, yeah, Simpleton Gaming would work. We'd make so much money, and we'd be able to fucking co-op simps. Thank you to all my- I'd ha also have to do like a fake British accent since it's 2016, so be like, Thank you all for joining Simpleton Gaming, and thanks to all me simps. Listen, all I'm saying is if I was born across the pond and I was the exact same way that I was, if I had a British accent and I was the exact same kind of person, I'd have so much more money. I'd, I'd have so many people trying to push me into the River Thames. Did I miss a goat man? No, I got him. I got him. We got all the goatmen. The Mist Creator made a new game and it's full of AI gunk. Dude put actual voice actors throughout it and used the AI angle to remove credits of the people. That's fucking, that's a shame. Goatmen. That's a fucking shame. Come so close to the estate before. Perhaps they were drawn by Lilith's presence. I saw a vision of her in your study. What do you mean a vision? I don't fully understand how, but it isn't the first time. Full of surprises, aren't you? No wonder you caught Lorat's attention. Well, now you understand. What if you had an Irish accent? Oh, I'd, I'd make so much money, mate. If, if I had an Irish accent, I'd make so much fucking money. Oh, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be right chuffed. I'd be right chuffed, I would. No, if I had an Irish accent, I think I'd make a ton of money. I think a lot of people would follow me. They'd be like, look at that lad. Look at him. After seeing them. He's saying top of the morning to all of them. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Brent Septicai. It'd be like, just like that. Millions of dollars. A billions of dollars. Three billion of dollars. So she might question them about the demon next. There are knights stationed... I had the misfortune to be born Iowan. That shit is going to be on my tombstone, and people are going to walk by and be like, that's understandable. It's going to it's gonna say, born, like, Iowan at birth, and everybody's going to understand. Oh, they want me to talk to a fucking alchemist. Um, where me go now? Oh, I gotta go. I, I should go up there anyway. Pro-corn anti-life. That would it be like with Iowa. Me slapping my hungry ass. This bad boy can food so many FNAF gameplays. Hit the waypoint. Hit the hit the waypoint. The what? Nah, I don't feel like it. Hit the waypoint? Hit the gritty? You want me to hit the gritty in Diablo 4? Hit the gritty? I'm going back though. Thank you for reminding me. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm fucking dumb. Imagine if Brendan was born in a middle-class family in Europe with affordable health care. It'd be so normal-pilled. You know the episode of SpongeBob where he becomes normal? I would be that. Hi. How's it going? How you doing? Hi. 
Nice weather we're having, huh? I'm normal. They would fill all my holes. All my holes would be gone. They took my fucking holes away, dude. Dude, I can't believe it. They took my fucking hole away. Bro, they took it from me. They fucking took my hole. Brennan, how are you doing today? You good? I think I'm out of my cranky arc. I think. No promises. But I think I'm out of my cranky arc. We'll see. We'll see. You never know. Pack up everything I can spare and send it off to him immediately. That was such a cool quest. I got a funny box from it. Damn, Diablo really do be like, I'm having a I'm on a mighty quest for epic loot. I must wait a moment. Can you play Haze again, Brendan? I played it once. No, I'm not playing it again. No. But sanctuary is dangerous these days. Are you the fucker that's running the- are you the fucker that's running the Hayes gimmick account? There's some Hayes gimmick account that keeps, like, replying to, like, a bunch of different tweets, and they replied to one of my tweets, and I'm like, that's gotta be one of these fuckers. No, I don't use Twitter. It's gotta be one of you fuckers that's running the Hayes gimmick account. There's no fucking way anybody else is running the Hayes gimmick account of their own volition. It's gotta be one of you fuckers. Why not play some other 360 PS3 era one-off console FPS games to offset the haze infection? I did. I played Fracture a couple days ago. It was miserable. It was miserable. <laughs> I forgot how miserable Fracture is. You know, sometimes you play these slop era 360 PS3 games and you genuinely forget how miserable they are. Like, genuinely just completely... Oh, fuck. This isn't fun. Like, you just forget. Going to the hospital, they are hooking up the Diablo 4. This is fair. Put, fill me full of IV bag filled with epic orange rarity loot. Sorry, son. Your your healthcare really low. You don't have enough gold for that. We're giving you common rarity IV bag. No, but I need the legendary IV bag because it gives me plus three resistance to all ele elemental damage. Please. I'm so fucking sorry, kid. You're going to have to get common rarity IV bag. This is so fucked. Dorkly comic. What if healthcare was like Diablo 4? I'd like some rare blood. Listen, I'm not looking for legendary legendary IV bag, but I would like rare IV bag because it goes with my build. Sorry, bro. Can't do that for you. I got the ward stone. Brendan, did you know that one of your viewers works for Dorkly? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. If, if you tell me any of my viewers work somewhere... Of, like, substance. I don't believe that shit. I ain't falling for it. It's me. This is, is this gonna be, like, an I'm Spartacus moment where everybody's going to be like, I work at Dorkly. No, I work at Dorkly. No, I'm the Brent Daniel viewer who, who works at Dorkly. No, I work at Dorkly. I'm the Dorkly. No, I'm the Dorkly. No, I'm the Dorkly. Literally all of us work for Dorkly, Brendan. Brendan, you're the number one Dorkly streamer. No, no, no. We know for a fact that one in every three Brendaniel viewers works for the United States Postal Office. We know that to be true. Oh, 
why did you big move? You know what? We got Thunderstroke? What did I say? Charooch? Thunderstroke? Oh, bro, we gotta get him. Stop hitting my dog. Stop it. Stop trying to get that dog in you. It's never going to happen, Charooch. It's never going to happen. You're never going to have that dog in you. It's never going to happen. My dog's got that guy, right? Yeah, they're working on it. Mailman core streamer. Listen, all I'm saying is that at some point, somebody's going to be watching for Daniel in their mail truck, and then they're going to go postal. One of these days, I'm going to stream Postal 3, and they're going to be like, sorry, Brendan, I can't watch this. My job my job means that I literally cannot watch any of the Postal video games. Uh, for healthcare reasons, apparently. Dorkly should hire me. Do you know how many comics I could come up with that are literally just, what if Mario smoked weed? A billions of them. The number one Mario Mario Smokes Weed core streamer. Well, Postal, Postal 3 is genuinely fucking awful. Yeah. It's sad. I like Postal 2 for what it is. Uh, Postal 3, I... Uh, ooh, I feel better already. Oh, uh, what was it? Brain damage was pretty good, though. Have you played Postal 4? Oh, Postal 4. Sorry. Yeah, Postal 4 is the one I was thinking of, not 3. I don't like Postal 4. That was the one I was thinking of. Postal 3 is the genuinely terrifyingly bad one. Postal 4 is the one I was thinking of. See the Running With Scissors Twitter account? No, but I keep getting their fucking TikToks, and their TikToks are literally just people asking them, hey, where can I get Postal 3? And them responding, listen, you can't buy Postal 3. We're sick of you asking. Stop asking us that. And then the next comments are just, where can we buy Postal 3? Where can we buy Postal 3? Where can we buy Postal 3? Like, they just being haunted with it. I gotta wait for my skill to be ready. I gotta place the ward stone. I gotta speak to Flem. This is such a cool side quest. I love planning post and then killing guy. I'm trying to protect he cow and he goat. I killed he goat. Don't worry. He'll get a new goat. How much does a goat cost anyway? Five dollars? Me? I prefer a more direct deterrent. Even goat men can understand. The damned beasts have moved into the pits at the south end of the downs. They're led by some big, ugly brute of a thing. <laughs> Mounting that bastard's head. I gotta go kill some big, ugly bastard. I got you. Don't worry, bitch. I got you. Brennan, this is the medieval post-apocalypse. Goats are expensive. Listen, I, animals are gonna adapt, right? How many apocalypses have there been in Sanctuary? Like 20. Animals gotta be going fucking... They gotta be breeding fast. Goats gotta be like five bucks. There are too many monsters and too many creatures for goats not to be bred every three seconds. Too many creatures, too many animal. They get what they can. They do what they want. In the medieval post-apocalypse, you gotta do what you gotta do. But at least in the medieval post-apocalypse, you don't have to fight people over gas. You still have to fight people over scarcity of, of, like, resources. But not gas. At least not gas. 
What are you doing over here? What are all you fellas doing? Oh, y'all fellas are big. Uh, you're, you're hanging out with Rot, th Rot Thruster? I don't know if y'all should be hanging out with Hirug Rot Thruster. I don't trust that guy. Seems like kind of a dick, I'm not gonna lie. Get him. Seems like kind of a dickhead. Look at him making all these poison pits out here in the fucking wheat field. I trust a man like that. One of your well-known viewers does work at Dorkly. This is so sad. <laughs> Pour one out for the homie. What if Eggman was Egg? Hmm? What if he, what if he, what if he fell down the stairs and he got cracked open like Egg? Hmm? Oh, got strunned. Let me out of the strun. Got him. Burst. Anytime I see one of these enemies that blows open full of spiders, I think of fucking Dragon Ball Z. I think of burst open and mix. I ain't know why, I just do. Need me a comic book series where it's just different video game characters falling down the stairs? I think that would be awesome. What if Sonic fell down the stairs? What if Mario fell down the stairs? What if Pikachu fell down the stairs? This is so fucking awesome. Bro, you see today's new comic? Yeah, dude. I fucking saw Princess Peach falls, falls down the stairs. Bro, blew my fucking mind. No, don't die. Don't die. Don't stun me. Stop it. Oh, fuck. Stav? Minus 12. But come on, dude. Why it gotta be minus 20? You know what? I'm gonna upgrade this, because fuck you. Whenever you say Mario like that, I instinctively alt F4 the stream. Mario? Everybody, give it up for ATB. Saying next game, the second they join. What a fucking... How fucking readable! How fucking predictable. What a shame. What a fucking shame. Dorkly more like Dorky. Got him. Don't say that. <laughs> Listen, 75% of my revenue comes from Dorkly Comics, so don't say that. <laughs> there, is that now better than my hammer? Technically better than my hammer. You know what? I'll take it. Oh, thank you, Nameless, for the small, luxurious meal. Let me... <laughs> Read what it do. A oh, fine. Your core skills deal up to 72% increased damage based on your amount of fortify. So, like... I don't know. I fortif fortify these nuts? That gives me fortify. That doesn't give me fortify. That doesn't give me fortify. That don't give me fortify. Oh, thank you, Omega, for the small, luxurious meal. Mm, mm, mm. Little potato treat for me. Mm, 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 mm. All right, wolf. Let's go kill the big guy. Balls, balls, balls.
Hi. They haven't noticed me yet. They don't even know I'm here. So fucking silly. So fucking silly. Hi. I'm normal. Why you gotta have the explosive trait? Come here. He's dead. We got him. We fucking got him. Oh, I didn't... You know what? That person helped me. Doesn't even count. But you're playing with a controller? I mean, yeah. It's easier that way. There's not there's not more things in the hot bar, so I might as well just use the controller anyway. Listen here, at almost 30, let me tell you the pros to playing on a controller, all right? If you're if you're a little younger, let me tell you why I play most games with a controller. Um PC gaming is epic, but the more you PC game, the more aware you have to become of your wrist health. With a controller, it does less damage to your wrists. And so you feel a little bit more epic because of it. And also, because I edit with a mouse and keyboard, uh, I, I just want to be using only mouse and keyboard when I'm using the computer for work purposes, like editing. Otherwise, I don't want to be fucking around with mouse and keyboard. What happened? My daughter. My dear tree. It was a wretched husband. What did it? Fallen. I caught him feeding. That and I guess like competitive games, I'll use a keyboard. Like a competitive shooters, I'll use a keyboard and mouse just because it is better that way. But like any other game, I ain't need to use the keyboard and mouse. Like I ain't gonna fucking do that. I'm done. I'm not doing that shit to my wrist. Now explain why you always choose the female characters uh, because I think they're cute. I'm not ready yet. Guy characters in video games don't get enough, like, himbo energy nine times out of ten, so, like... I don't want to help. You're, the, like, the hunting guy. I don't care about your fucking world event. Your world event sucks. I must wait a moment. I hear gyro aim is actually better than keyboard and mouse. It, well, like, serious answer, some people do prefer that. Uh, like, the gyro aiming. I don't, but also I think it can be better than controller. Not better than keyboard and mouse. Like, you don't get the same level of precision. Uh, but it can be better than just base controller if you get used to it. But not like keyboard and mouse. Like, I'm not going to be playing fucking Fortnite being like, I'm playing with tilt controls. Like, I'm not doing that shit. I don't think tilt aiming is better than keyboard and mouse. I will say that it's probably better than base gamepad control, depending on the game. Also, thank you, Instinct22, for the prime sub. I only use the Xbox Connect. Okay, Google, play Beyonce. Wherever that hit, uh, you're so fucking welcome. Hey, Alexa, play Beyonce. Okay, Google, give me a fart. Hey, Alexa, give me a fart. You're so fucking welcome. You're so fucking welcome. <laughs> okay, Google, give me a fart. You're so fucking welcome. Speaker lovers are fucking freaking out. Speaker heads are going, Brendan, stop. Okay, Google, give me a fart. A real wet one. Okay, Google, play all the single furries. He said Fortnite. This is so fucking epic. Why is this better? Why you gotta do this to me?
Oh, I'm going to keep the other legendary. I don't care if it's a downgrade in item power. I give a shit. I gotta come over here for my class quest. Jice. Alright, let's do it. No, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I get three dog. Why would I remove the ability to get three dog? I need three. I want three dog. Can you get a 2006 Honda Civic in this game? No, but I think this game could only be improved if you added a 2006 Honda Civic. I think I think the game would only be better with it. Brennan, can you please eat the meal I gave you? It's getting cold. Yeah, sure. Let me, uh... Bite. Eat. Chomp. Yum. Bite. Eat. Chomp. Yum. Bite. Eat. Chomp. Yum. Bite. Eat. Chomp. Yum. Bite. Eat. Yum. Isn't that good? <laughs> Yumby? What a good meal. In my experience, having the extra skill effect of a legendary is way better than the extra item power. That's kind of what I figured out. Like, up to a certain point. Like, obviously, if you get a yellow item, that is definitively better. Brendan, I got paid today. What would be the worst game I could buy? Uh, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. You're welcome. You're going to be put on the list. You want worst game like in bad game or worst game is in you're going to be put on a list? I Already got it. Oh, uh, man. Uh, Gollum. <laughs> Obviously Gollum. Wait a moment. I don't know. Buy, uh, you got paid today? Buy all the train simulator DLC, but not the game. Like, don't buy the game, but buy all the DLC. Brennan, if you won the lottery, would you buy the rights to Fracture? Absolutely fucking not. If I'm in the lottery, I would stash away as much money as possible. I would I would bury it all in my backyard, wait ten years, tell nobody, and then disappear one day. Brandon, how much do you think I'm being paid? That's literally three thousand dollars. How much is a banana again? Like ten dollars? I'm. How much does it cost to buy a banana? Like ten bucks, right? You should go around asking streamers that. All, all the big streamers should be asked without, without like, being able to look it up. Spur of the moment, how much does a banana cost? Oh, God. Here's $10. Go see a Star War. Figure out how many streamers use a personal shopper by asking them how much a banana is. Uh, oh, I got a text from my wife. I should probably actually answer that text instead of just, like, looking at it. <laughs> I'm really... I'm a fucking horrid texter. I never fucking answer texts. I am the worst. Um, Any ideas for food pickup? What should my my wife's been working late, so she's been like picking up food lately uh, because of it, because it's easier than like making dinner. Um, what food should she get? I must wait a moment. Let me text back bread. There's just not a lot of options. I'm just going to text back bread. He's going to get really angry and then come in here later, so. Somebody said bread. That's on you. If my wife is angry, it's not my fault. It's your fault. 
It is locked. Oh, I don't have any whispering key. Damn. Okay, just go and buy one. Don't worry, funny chest. I'll be right back. After these messages. How many? That was a weird noise. That was probably Bobby being weird. How many times? What, Bobby? What did you do? What did you do? I see you. What do you want? She's just yelling from the laundry room. I think she knocked something over. What do you want, you little freak? What? You can't go in the ceiling. I blocked her. I blocked her from going into the ceiling, and now she's mad at me. She's so fucking pissed. Love. Finished, are you? She craves the ceiling. She will not get it. She just wants to be a little freak. She wants to get up in the ceiling and cause problems. And I'm not, I'm not letting her be a little freak. She's mad about it. Wow, I got shit out of it. Those are not worth it. Brennan, how does this stack up to Diablo 2? Uh, as somebody who has, like, maybe five hours in Diablo 2 uh, all throughout his life, I don't know. It's really dark. It's got the dark vibe. But, like, there's no cow level. So, like, what's even the fucking point? I love that there's a giant conspiracy theory. Um, Diablo has also suffered the Grand Theft Auto V fate, where there's a giant community trying to figure out if there is a secret cow level because there's stuff hinted in some item descriptions. So people are like, dude, there's got to be a cow level. They're just lying about it. There's a ton of people fucking going through and ripping apart the item files and trying to figure out if there actually is a cow level. And it reminds me of like the GTA 5 chili ad mystery that also ended up being nothing because they were like, oh fuck, let's not uh, do anything with this. Instead, we can make so much more money for selling people car. So there's a huge community devoted to trying to figure out if there is a cow level. And to my knowledge, they have not found it yet. Here they just added a GTA Online Plus pass to GTA Online. Yeah, because 2K fucking sucks. And they're taking advantage of like 30-year-old guys who do nothing but play GTA Online with their bros. That's literally the audience of GTA Online. Is like guys who play GTA Online and watch like live streams of people playing characters, and they're like, "Man, I wish I could be like that for real." <laughs> like my interaction at GameStop with people who play GTA Online is somebody who played it religiously and he would come in every two weeks he'd buy two $100 shark cards one for him, one for his wife and he did that like the entire tenure in the entire time I worked at GameStop that's all I know about GTA Online it's all children or like guys who are playing it because they ain't got nothing else they want to do it, it, does GTA Online have guys who, like, buy the really expensive cars and then they go to, like, a, what is it, Cluck and Bell parking lot? And they, like, show off their cool cars just like old guys in real life? What's worse, a GTA Online player or a Disney adult? Same archetype. Just to deal you even more psychic damage, a Disney adult is the exact same kind of person as your friend who only talks about Ultra Kill. It's the same thing.
They are the same archetype. I must wait a moment. Brennan, what's the purchase you've most judged someone for doing at a GameStop? Oh, I gotta think on that. I don't know. I don't have a clear standout thing. I'm not, like, super judgy about that stuff, usually. I genuinely usually don't care. Like, even even the people who would, like, pre-order anime figures at my store because we got exclusives, I was like, whatever, dude, you do you. I mean, I make, I make fun and I poke fun, but, like, I am also cringe. Like... I didn't- I don't really hate anybody who was, like, buying things that made them happy. Mostly, I just hated know-it-alls. My time in retail, in general, was cursed with know-it-alls. And not even, like, actual know-it-alls, like, people who thought they knew it all and didn't know shit. I used to have this one customer come in every once in a while, and they would constantly go up and talk to female customers or female employees and talk about how much RAM he put in his computer as, like, a I am epic. One time, this motherfucker said he put a terabyte of RAM in his computer, invited one of my girl coworkers uh, to his Minecraft server. Saddest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm not ready yet. Well, like, imagine trying to pick up chicks by being like, I got a terabyte of RAM in my computer. Maybe you want to play on my Minecraft server someday? be fucking cool, huh? Well, you- I see you wearing a Minecraft t-shirt. Would you be interested in joining my Minecraft server, maybe? But lady. Cute boy. I don't know about you, but, like, let me tell you something. I don't think the definition of a- like, a walking can of Axe body spray is- is my definition of a cute boy. Maybe he confused Ram with his HD- HDD- nah, 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 nah. Because this motherfucker one day busted out the term. He said random access memory and he wasn't talking about a Daft Punk album. I know. Do you know what RAM means? Random access memory is pretty cool. Maybe you want to join my Minecraft server. It'd be pretty epic, honestly, I think. I think if you join my Minecraft server, I think you're going to find him. A very polite gentleman. But also, like, I don't, I don't talk about a lot of my customer experiences at, like, Best Buy, even though I was there more recently. And mostly because, like, a lot of my awful Best Buy interactions were just genuine mental illness moments. The amount of old people that genuinely believed in weather machines that I would interact with is higher than five. Five separate incidents. I once had a woman yell at me for 25 minutes because she was adamant that her headphones, her Bose headphones, were being hacked. What food do you want? See, I fucking called it. I told y'all. I texted bread, and I fucking knew she would pop in here and ask me that. Get fucking owned, wife. Oh, that's right. I gotta go around. Shelby, I want bread. I don't know. I don't know what I want, Shelby. I don't just keep pick up. I pick up anything. Pick up a big bucket of slop. I don't know. This whole place is in bread. Place. Obviously, what bread. The more bread, the merrier the bread. Oh, uh, what is it? Do GameStop employees get scurvy? Do GameStop employees get sales incentives? GameStop employees never got sales incentives. Never. Yeah. Hate that mm, never. That was never a thing. Uh, unless a specific store manager made it a thing, GameStop employees, Best Buy employees even, did not get sales incentives. Um, the only incentive that you get for doing your job and selling people stuff when you worked at, like, GameStop or even Best Buy is, Hey, you do your job? Awesome. 
Um, you're not in trouble. Best Buy at least had one or two incentives. Uh, but really, really? Like, mm, GameStop, no. No real sales incentives there. I asked that because one year I went to GameStop on Christmas Eve and it was, and the woman working offered to take me on a date if I bought six games. I don't believe that for a bit. What the fuck? That's fucking horrible. What the fuck? I'm not ready yet. No, no fucking, no, ew. No, that's fucking horrid. That's rancid. That's not just horrid. That's fucking rancid. I have had, like, customers hit on me, but, like, I'm very, very uncomfortable when it happens and usually try to excuse myself as fast as possible. Uh, one time working at the mall, uh, I worked at the mall, GameStop, in my four years at GameStop, I worked at the mall GameStop for, like, uh, three months, I think. And what food? What food? I don't know what food is, Shelby. Uh, Fuck. I'm trying to think. I don't know. Buy some udon or shit. This is Iowa. We had pizza. We had pizza recently. No pizza. Uh, I don't know, Shelby. Just pick up like a uh, fucking subway. I don't care. Just subway. Subway. Easy, easy. I made a choice. I made a decision. Just pick up Subway. I, must wait a I have no strong feeling one way or the other. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, uh, when I worked at GameStop, I worked at the mall. So my town had three GameStops, and I used to work at the one by a Walmart. But I covered for the GameStop at the mall for a little while, for about three months. And it was really fucking awkward. Because this would have been, I would have been like 23. This would have been like seven, six years ago. And I would have so many, like people, like so many girls and women come in and ask to, to like take my picture. It happened on like three separate occasions and I was always super uncomfortable with it and I didn't understand why. I was like, why do you want to take my picture? Why are you giggling? What do you want from me? Tuna? Yeah, Tuna. Stop it. Stop being forsaken, baby. Oh, he's going. He's going bungo. This is so sad. The druids are losing their mind. They knew you were the 4chan reading man. See, this is not possible. I got recognized way more when I worked at Best Buy. Also, when I worked at Best Buy, I got recognized way more, not even for, like, me. I got recognized for being on the podcast. I once had a coworker look at me and be like, Hey, Brendan, we've worked together for about two months. Can I ask you something kind of weird? I was like, yeah, what's up? Are you on the Please Stop Talking podcast? And I was like, oh, God, it's happening. Oh, God. Uh, trust me, I don't get it. Me personally, I say, if you meet people who do internet thing out there in the world, uh, just leave them alone. I, 
Unless they're cool. I'm not cool. Me, personally, when I'm out there in the world, genuinely not cool. However, if you do spot me out there in the world, I will maybe give you a sticker. Not at my house. At my house, I will be like, yeah, okay, please leave me alone. But if I meet you out there in the world and you see me, I will probably give you a sticker. I keep little treats in my wallet. I... <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a loot goblin. You gotta find me. You gotta go out there in the world and find me in the real. Don't actually though. That's a bit. As a bit. Don't like seek me out. Will the sticker just say leave me alone? No, no. I got a bunch of these printed off. Uh, where's my 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 frame rates chugging? I got a bunch of this picture printed off. Um, as a sticker. I gotta find it. Give me a moment. I got a bunch of these printed off. Uh, and I keep like 20 of them in my wallet at all times. So if you see me out there in the world, I will give you one of these. <laughs> because that is that that is how I feel in that moment. That's why Gina has those. I gave Gina, yeah, I gave Gina a couple of those. And Gina gave me a Garfield statue that says, uh, cunt on the bottom. And a couple of art prints. Love meeting Gina. Gina's super nice. I, I feel bad when I met up with Gina, when Shelby and I met up with Gina in, uh, Minneapolis is because I was so out of it. I was having a not good day. I was so fucking out of it. The whole day, I was like, I was like being led along, like on a leash, basically. Like, where are we going? What's happening? What are we eating? What? Second day, though, I found a cool little Ukrainian deli and got a fucking amazing turkey club. I'm still thinking there was such a good turkey club. It's stuck in my head forever. It was such a good, it was such a good club. Oh my god, it's the fiery Balrog. Fiery Balrog, these nuts, bud. Oh, I have a skill point, I should use that. More like an ill point. Oh no, he's going bungo. I'm gonna have to fight him too. Come on, dude. Why all the druid gotta be evil? Why you gotta be like this? Grow up, maybe. Grow up, maybe. Uh, come here. Oh, you're tormented? Bro, me too. That's how I feel after a big day at the work factory. I get it. Oh my god, he's fucking hitting me with him. Oh man, he really is hitting me with it. There we go. Get fucked. Your efforts are futile. You will join them in eternal misery. Big talk for a guy who won't show his ass. Big talk for a guy who probably doesn't fucking wash his ass. Oh, you think demons wash their ass? They fucking don't. Oh, they got burned. How did I get burned? They got burned. That's crazy. Oh, I know half of you fuckers would be way too intimidated to walk up to me. Because, like, once you see... Once you see me out there in the world, then you gotta deal with me. Then you have to deal with the idea that I'm real. You're like, oh, no, I can't. I can't. Been learning a choke slam just for this very occasion. The second I meet somebody and they're very cringe, immediately choke slamming them. I I don't care. What are you gonna do? Call the cops on me? It's a wrestling move. Come on, it's not real. 
Brandon, what if I run you over with a Kia Soul? You can try. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna do a uh, uh, just a front flip over the thing. Hello, big boy. Would you like to materialize? Ah, Balgamoth, Inter In Infernal, Infernal Tormentor. That's so epic. Get him. That's so cool. You spew, bro. You do be a spewing. Well, that's so cool. I wish I spewed. Got that dog on here. And storm. Keeps using his fucking big fire spew on my dog. You'd be like, what the dog doing? You don't have to worry about what the dog is doing. You gotta worry about what I'm doing, bitch. Come on, come back here. Where are you going? Oh, you're trying to raise your boys. You got spirits to raise. I get it. Oh, you're stunned. You're so fucked. Got him. Look at all that. Oh, God. Too much shit. I'll come back here, maybe, but I want to make sure I grab everything. All right, go to town. <laughs> Big stretch. I probably not want to talk to Brennan in public, as he'd probably get whiplash and make it awky. I would make it very awkward. I wouldn't mean to, but I definitely am. A very awkward core person. I don't know what to talk about. When somebody's like, they know that I... Like, if somebody points directly at me and says, I know what you are. Um, genuinely have no fucking clue how to respond. It's like, oh, cool, thanks. That's awesome. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> yeah, hi. I'm normal. Where's the shrine at up here? I gotta make the druids real. They gotta come back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. I must wait a moment. Brennan, what's your take on the Reddit blackout? Well, I don't care. I'm... Sorry, I don't mean that to be mean or disparaging to you. Um, I, I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna frame it as this. Um, I'm not one of the top streamers on this site. So what that means is like, I don't feel the need to give my input on every single situation happening on the internet to try to keep myself relevant. Uh, so I can be honest with you and say that I don't really care. It's Reddit. I mean, they shouldn't be making those API devs pay a bunch, but also it's Reddit. I don't have a nuanced take on it because it's Reddit. Best thing that ever happened to me, I'm not the header on Mildly Infuriating because Mildly Infuriating is kind of closed, um, but also it's Reddit. Like, I don't mean that to be rude. I don't mean that to be as like a, I don't mean that to be like I am, I am, I, I, I am pushing off your comments, but it's Reddit. It's Reddit. I... It's Reddit. I don't... I don't have a nuanced take or opinion on it because it's Reddit. I must wait a moment. It's Reddit. I... Like, every every second, every time, it's, it's Reddit. It's Reddit? Is it Reddit? It's Reddit. It's back and you're still the header. Son of a bitch, we're so back.
Reddit is there so I can Google a hyper-specific problem and then put Reddit after I Google the hyper-specific problem to see if somebody else had that hyper-specific problem. And that's probably the best part of Reddit. Also, yeah, think about, think about if Reddit dies, think about all the people that are going to have to rely on their own personality for content. Still don't get why you're on the banner in the first place. Years ago, I made when Reddit re redesigned their, 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 their website, I made a video talking about like Reddit design bad and they used the thumbnail from that video, which has my face on it as their header. Dora was once the seat of power for us druids. Travel to the shrine of the spirit lord. Okay. But yeah, like I don't know, I like they do they do big blackout in uh, uh, to like be like, hey, we're not happy with the changes, and it's like it, blackout's gonna be wholly ineffective unless a bunch more subreddits indefinitely close. The protesting by closing your subreddit for two days is going to do literally nothing. Thank you, kind wanderer. Little remains of her legacy, but these will surely countenance the good this family has contributed to. And also Reddit, it's Reddit. Now, if more subreddits, like, indefinitely closed, I could maybe see some pushback. Uh, but I still don't think it's going to affect their bottom line very much. Are there, like, 2,000 subreddits closed indefinitely? Yeah, but there are thousands and thousands of subreddits. So unless, like, all of the big ones banded together and closed indefinitely until they said something, uh, it's not going to affect their bottom line. And it may, it may affect their bottom line. It may affect their bottom line enough for them to notice. That's literally the point, but... I really don't think unless you have a, a way more like communities that are closed indefinitely, uh, you're not going to see any change. And also, like, I love Redditors being like, yeah, this is closed indefinitely. Time to buy these mods from Reddit gold. Like, so you're protesting Reddit, but you're paying Reddit to talk about your protest. Apparently, the Reddit admins have been forcibly opening subreddits, apparently, and removing moderators. I, I mean, yeah, they can do that. That's their site. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but yeah, they can do that. They can just stop. We're just going to remove these moderators and uh, ask somebody else to do it. The thing, the thing is, though, like, really what would hurt Reddit is all the people that moderate subreddits in their free time for free... Uh, would hurt Reddit more than anything else. I will say, uh, there was an amazing episode of wrestling last night, and the wrestling subreddit was closed. <laughs> so maybe we should just, you know what? Personally, I think we just, we just get rid of Reddit. Close it indefinitely. Just get rid of all of it. Just delete every subreddit. Personally, I'd be like, you know what? Let's get rid of Reddit altogether. Personally, only because I want to see how many YouTubers like flounder. Right? I must wait a moment. I want to see how many people rely so heavily on Reddit for their content. Just out of a curiosity kind of thing. Because they're still gonna have enough money to like be fine. But I do want to see like how many how many people rely on Reddit for their content like that. It's a morbid curiosity type thing. I gotta commune with the spirit lord. How do I do that? Where he at? Oh god, he's all here. He's all the way down. No, that's not him. Where is he? Oh, he's here. Hello, tormented spirit lord.
I mean, here's the thing. All of your favorite sites are going to Ouroboros. That's just, that's just how it's going to be. Every, every website that you like is going to Ouroboros. Every single one. It's the end goal of every single one. Brendan, you can't complain about Reddit. You use Twitter. Erm. Yeah, I, I, like, pff, whatever. People are naturally hypocritical. It literally doesn't matter. And also, I use Twitter for shit posting and for promoting. Internet man, my job. What's Ouroboros supposed to mean? It's the snake who eats its own tail. And all of your favorite websites are going to Ouroboros. They're going to eat themselves until there's nothing left. That's the end game of capitalism. That's how it's going to be. They're going to remove positive changes and add negative changes because they're going to try to squeeze as much blood out of the stone as possible because that's the end game of every single goddamn website or company is to make the most amount of money possible. Uh, it does not care about its user base. They don't care about any of that shit. They literally only care about bottom line. Never give any, any company anything because every single company, literally at the end of the day, all they care about, all they care about, all they care about is making money. And like... That's fine, I guess. That's the way shit be. Well, do I want shit to be that way? No. I accept it. I move on with my life. I complain where I feel like I want to complain. Uh, actually, since we were on AI earlier, do you think it's inexcusable in all cases, or does it have its use alongside human creation? I think that AI in a vacuum could be a wonderful thing to help make people uh, work less. It could be useful in a way to make... In a perfect world, AI could be used positively. To make boring jobs meaningless so that people have time to enjoy the things that they actually enjoy. In our world, however, AI is just going to mean people are losing their jobs and their skill set is redundant. And they won't have enough money or time to be able to actually invest in a skill set or in something that makes them happy. Uh, so AI is negative in our world. In a perfect world, AI could be positive. Uh, but this is not a perfect world. And that's why I don't like AI. Overall, for anything. I don't like ChatGPT. I don't like AI voices. I don't like AI-generated images. I don't like those streams where it's like AI family guy. Uh, because I also don't like the end goal of entertainment capitalism, which is never-ending generative content. Uh, because AI for, like, menial tasks, I could see it being useful um, to help people like, be able to do things they actually enjoy instead. Uh, but in a creative sect, in a, in a creative or entertainment way, I fucking hate AI. Because I fucking hate the idea of never-ending generative content. Um, I do firmly believe that sh there should be some kind of human soul in art or, or creation or comedy or, or any form of entertainment. And I don't like the idea of it is easier... To rip the human soul away. And I don't like that. Now I will I will also be a hundred percent clear. I'm not the guy to go to for nuanced takes. Uh, my takes are based all on personal opinion, uh, and I will be 100% clear about that every goddamn day and every goddamn time I talk about this stuff. Um, but that's, I, I mean, that's why I don't watch any of that AI-generated content is because you're giving people money. It's like, um, I, 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 I don't watch any of that AI-generated content, even if it's funny, uh, because you're giving these people money and exposure, and they're just going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it until they squeeze every penny, penny out of it. And, like, I'd rather give my time and effort to actual humans doing actual things and not people who are AI bros hiding behind the lol. How funny is it for SpongeBob and Patrick to be screaming? Uh, and we're gonna see some really interesting cases, I think, over the next couple of years uh, regarding AI content, because we're still in kind of the, um, the, the heyday of it. That's why I don't watch any AI-generated content, uh, even if it's from people that I like, because I, I genuinely just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the idea of it. And that's me. I don't like it. I'm not saying you don't have to watch it. I'm just saying the reason that I don't watch it is because you, you give an inch, they take a mile. 
and you won't realize how much they took from you until like it's all come to head. So I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Even even though it has human input, I still don't like it. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I I can teleport places. Oh shit, you're right. I forgot. Um I don't like AI. I just don't like it. In a perfect world, it could be helpful. This is not a perfect world. Like, do watch whatever you want to watch. You know, indulge in whatever content makes you happy. Um, I just, I can't. I'd rather watch somebody with with a genuine heart and soul being a goober. Not me. I, I'm not only watching my content. But, like, I would rather watch somebody with genuine heart and soul behind what they make instead of somebody who's like, look, I make the funny character do the funny thing. Isn't that crazy? I must wait a moment. And also, it does feel very gimmicky. And eventually, people will get sick of the gimmick and move on. Brandon, what are your favorite Family Guy Funny Moments? I fucking love when uh, Peter Griffin is wearing a clown suit. And he's with the army guys. And he's like, you guys are stupid. They're going to be looking for army guys. He was trapped then. For all these years. He has suffered too long. Here. Place it upon the altar. Let us honor him. Gatlin, I gotta interact with the altar. I got a Mounty Skull. Mounty Skull, make the druid stuff real. Hello, dear. Can I do it? I gotta give them fucking all. I gotta yaw for them. Do I offer all of them or just some of them? Question. I'm not ready yet. All in. All in. AEW is all in. So, a uh, deer. Wolf. Oh good, I think I have five hundo anyway. There we go. Talk to any spirit. Okay, so I can choose the spirit and then I get their bond. Alright, cool, 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 cool. There's bird. What does snake do? Oh, I don't use earth, but I do use nature magic. Ah, this is the dog one. Might pick the dog. What the deer do? Deer seems to be a lot of just basic buffs. I get that. All right. What the dog? We'll pick the dog. Oh, you get one per spirit. Oh, okay. Oh, you get one per. Oh, I see. And I can bond with him to get two. Oh, I see. Uh, let's do that one. Ooh, let's do that one, actually. I use a lot of lightning. Thorns for now. Let me see. Hmm, attack speed. These are all good. There we go. Alright, I picked some. We'll fuck around with it later. 
If I, wanna, if I like, care about my build, we'll fuck around with it. Otherwise, I'm just like, Meh. Dungeon! Pick the dog, cause dog a good. Look at the good. Look at the heckin' good boy. Me when I see a heckin' good boy and I start to freaking lose my mind. Is Archonkers private? Please tell me it's not private. How could I post somebody's moms to Archonkers if they took it away from me? Follow the right people on Twitter, you can get the same experience on that subreddit. But it's not the same. I don't get my scrolling feed. What the fuck is this thing? What are these creatures? What the fuck? They're bringing out the weird creatures for this shit. Oh my god, not the suckling abomination, please. Bloodthirsty and skittering? Just like me. Corpse fiends, too. Please, dude. Oop. Back the fuck up, buddy. Please back the fuck up. I'm trying to get fucking epic loot. I like the look of the Pestilence hosts. That's a really cool... That's a really cool enemy. I like the look of some of Diablo th Diablo 4 enemy. Let me in. Let me in. Let me fight Big Bug. Oh, I'm going to have to fight Big Bug at the end of this, aren't I? They really are going to throw a big bug at me and say, deal with it. Deal with large bug. I must wait a moment. No any planned date for the Mountain Stew cooking stream? No. Listen, I don't even know if I'm going to make another Mountain Dew review. Gotta buy that Mountain Dew cookbook and then just go through all of it as the final one. I must wait a moment. I don't know, though. I am uh, almost done with scripting for the random cryptid video I've been working on. So that's at least something. I'm fucking... Thank God I'm almost done with that. That video is giving me giant migraine. Editing will also be just as bad for it, I think. But hopefully this month, that'll be the video I make. But then I'm gonna open up Adobe Premiere and start crying. Where's the worst one? I... I get stuck, and I'm just trying to work on one video at a time, so I don't, like, fucking lose my mind. And I will say, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna jump right back in the worst one. Once I'm done with this shit, right back in the worst one. I gotta just jump right back into it. Listen, it's it's hard make content sometimes, because brain no work. But yeah, I am. I I have two worst ones I want to do. 
at least. Uh, worst one, Letterkenny, and worst one, Justice League Unlimited. Those are two I definitely want to do. I just am, like, so brain dead. Oh, no, three, actually. I have three worst ones planned. Fucking worst one, Letterkenny, worst one, Justice League Unlimited, worst one, Scooby-Doo Movies. And I just, I literally just have to sit down and work on them. I just want to get this fucking cryptid video done. I want to be done with it. I'm not canceling it. I'm going to fucking finish it. It's going to be done. It's going to be done. And then I'm going to be done with it. I'm going to wash my hands of it, no matter how bad it is or how good it is. It's just, I'm going to be done, and then it's going to be done. Where the pedestal at? I didn't even find the pedestal. What a waste. Oh, happy birthday, Metaru. <laughs> Everybody say happy birthday to Metaru. Happy birthday, Metaru. Wow, that's crazy, Metaru. Happy birthday. How old are you now? 90? I'm not ready yet. Happy birthday, Metaru. Metaru, 30 already and before me. Wow, you're so old. Happy birthday. That's how it's going to be. <laughs> We're just going to start flipping the birthday bit back in the chat. That's if that's how it's got to be. We're just going to start flipping the birthday bit back onto you. It's like our Uno reverse card. Better, it's crazy that you're older than me. That's so epic. How does it feel being so ancient? I would never know. I'm young and virile. Killed this guardian. Whether we like it or not. There we go. Oh, I gotta go back to my home. What do I grot? What do I grot? Sure. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Than that. <laughs> not getting rid of that ring. Ain't getting out of that ring. No, sir. Not getting rid of that ring. You're not taking three dog away from me. I love me have my three dog. Maybe if I upgraded. Uh, you, jeweler. Make my ring cool. There we go. Oh, I upgraded to three. God, I need abstruse sigil. I got that shit. Where the blacksmith at? I gotta break shit down, dude. I think if I'm ever a dad, I'm gonna tell my kids about the birthday ghoul. I think I'm going to invent some... If I'm ever a father, I'm probably going to invent some crazy superstitions and tell them to my children. That way, when they go to school and talk about, y'all were visited by the birthday ghoul, right? The what? The birthday ghoul. What? He's made of flesh, and he squeezes out onto your bed and leaves all your presents? Sticky and covered in icor? And meat and viscera? No, what's the birthday ghoul? You got a birthday ghoul? Shelby's gonna be so fucking mad. Brendan, did you tell these kids that there's a birthday ghoul? 
No. <laughs> the birthday the birthday ghoul follows you to school to see if you've been good or bad. The birthday ghoul, he thinks you're rad. We love the birthday ghoul. The birthday ghoul, he's full of drool. He follows you to school. He gives you presents if you're present and all your classes are cool. Oh, I love the birthday ghoul. I love the birthday ghoul. I get so many tricks and treats. Brennan, you are the birthday ghoul, but don't tell my kids that. <laughs> Let it go, break. Shh, don't tell them I'm the birthday ghoul. It's Santa Claus rules. You can't tell them that. I'm going to go on a break. I'll be back. Took me longer than I thought, but I'm back. I had to go to the bathroom. I had to go all the way to JCPenney this time. Real. This motherfucker really had to go to JCPenney to take a shit. It really do be that way. <laughs> What's that, a dinosaur? Epic. Oh god. Why am I playing with mouse and keyboard? What am I doing? I was like, what is wrong? Something's wrong. And I was like, ah, that's why. I immediately switched to mouse and keyboard. I need to force my controller at. Where did I put it? Oh god. There it is. One, one man can only loot get for so long. I get my Diablo 4 toilet. I sit down. I yell poop get. I also got some water. Melting the porcelain at John Cena Penny. <laughs> God, what if JC Penny they cloned John Cena and he was at every single fucking store? You could get a free attitude adjustment. They don't got a chiropractor, they got John Cena there. You want a back adjustment? No, no, no. You get an attitude adjustment. He picks you up and he does his big move to you. What if the what if the ding whenever you walked into the JC Penny's it didn't like ding like a retail store? It just went like the beginning of John Cena theme song. Would that make you more likely or less likely to shop at JCPenney? Way more likely. Ooh, froze. what I get. Funny mace, funny staff. Don't need them. I gotta go and destroy a bunch of egg clusters. Oh, God. Oh, I hope I didn't miss one down there. I feel like I'm going to have missed one down there. It'd be like a fun experience. John Cena, deser John Cena deserves a theme park. You know, I will always appreciate John Cena over The Rock, but that's because John Cena is like a person and The Rock is like a product. Right? I, must wait a moment. I feel like that's one of the big differences, is John Cena, real guy, blood in he body, The Rock, product, money in he body. I can't tell you how happy I was for Black Adam to, like, fail. I was like, oh, thank God. Are we done with The Rock? Are we done? Are we sick of him yet? Are we finally sick of The Rock? Are we done? What is this thing? Oh, there's funny statues. How many enemy I gotta kill in the funny blood? 
Come on. Dying here. I gotta kill. I gotta summon the sanguine champions. You're not dying fast enough. I got one. I don't think I'm going to get both of them. No, I did get both of them, Thog. I was genuinely, I was genuinely afraid. Too many guys. Oh, this guy, he's spewing. Oh, he's running away from me. What a coward. Hey, don't run away from me. Spew at me. I dare you. Don't be a coward. Fight me. Now don't explode on me, though. I don't like that. President Dwayne. I'm happy. What is it? Dwayne's, uh... Dwayne had a show. If you didn't know, did you know that The Rock had a show on NBC called The Young Rock? And it takes place in the past, the present, and the future. And in the future part, he is the president. Perhaps could not believe me. The sores that began on the great tree spread to Finalea's hands this morning. Dwayne also does that thing where if people ask him about running for president, he's like, ha, 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 ha. No, they just canceled the Young Rock. They went three seasons and they finally canceled it. Any, anytime anybody asks Dwayne if he's running for president, he's like, ha, 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 ha. What do you think about B Batista compared to Cena and the Rock? Cena, I like, as a person, and I think he's genuinely funny... When he's acting in something, The Rock is a product, Batista is an actor. Batista isn't, like, I don't see him as a wrestler still. Dwayne and Cena, I both can see as wrestlers still. I do not see Batista as a wrestler. He is an actor. He did what Cena and Dwayne wish they could do, which is actually act in things and not just be a product. And I mean, Cena's fine at acting like he's okay, but he's no Batista. And thankfully, he's no Dwayne. Plus, Batista is way better as an actor than he ever was a wrestler. Cena's okay as an actor. I like him as a person for the most part. But, like, as a... Like, he's okay. Like, he's got good comedic timing. Um, But, like, honestly, I'm never going to give Cena, like, the acting pass until he does one thing. You know what I want from John Cena, right? The one thing that I want from John Cena? John Cena would make for a perfect Ernest P. Worrell. Now, I know Jim Varney died. And I know nobody could replace Jim Varney as Ernest P. Worrell, but John Cena as a buff Ernest would be funny enough to at least do one movie about. Cena was in the Fred movie. He was. He's Fred's dad. John Cena is so Ernest P. Worrell core... That he would be perfect in a live action, like a new Ernest movie. He's the only one I think that could do it. Honestly, I don't think I've seen enough of Cena's, like, physical comedy. I would love... Weird, weird take. But I would love them trying to Bruce Campbell John Cena to see how well he does. By that I mean... Put John Cena in an Evil Dead movie that's a little goofier than the last two. Because I don't know about the last two. I didn't like Rise that much. I thought 2013 Evil Dead was okay. I didn't like Rise that much. But also I feel like Evil Dead without somebody on Bruce Campbell's caliber of like physical acting and physical comedy just isn't worth it. Mike, what's the fucking point? 
of making a new Evil Dead movie if it's just like any other horror movie. And Rise did have a kind of goofiness to it, just not the goofiness I wanted. We'll see. This place used to be blooming with magic and nature. Many of the tour the chances are. A deterred Dulra runestone? Okay. I must wait it's not under that pile of rock. It's not under that pile of rock. It's not under that pile of rock. I found it. Is this game good or not? It's fine. It's de Bablo. One did survive. I didn't dare get my hopes up, but we are truly blessed. I'll try to reawaken it. Hold fast. Did he do it? Did he wake up the tree? The rock is still asleep. This is so sad. Oh, you gotta wake up the other rocks. I get it. You gotta find these cool rocks. Please. I love looking for rock. It's so epic. Diablo is a I had a long day at work kind of game. Yeah, that is true. Long day at the work factory. Kids are screaming. Let me jump on Diablo and just click on button and get a couple of funny items. Let me get a couple of funny items and then, you know, get that quick hit of dopamine. Need my dopamine machine. I need my dopamine machine. I need my dopamine machine. A milking machine, but instead of milking you, it sucks all the dopamine out of you to save it for later. Would you do it? Then you could just drink it and be like, mmm, mm, yummy. Have you seen people use, losing their hardcore characters because of server issues? Yeah, that's rough. Uh, game is new, though. Like, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do a hardcore character until at least season one or two. Like, the option is there, and I'm not saying the impetus is on the player to do it. The impetus is still on Blizzard to do it. And I don't mind putting Blizzard in the bozo zone, because, you know, working at Blizzard, you walk into the elevator at Blizzard, and all you hear is... Especially if you're like a middle manager at Blizzard. But like, yeah, personally, I fucking new video games like this. I'm very careful about what I do for the first like year almost. Love my dopamine, love my dopamine, love my dopamine, give me my dopamine. Give me a hit of that fat loot. Mm, Grold. Must wait a minute. Love collecting all my leather and also plants. And also, iron ore. It's so cool. They had crafting thing to Diablo. Shitting pant. I must wait a moment. I love when I get to craft the thing, and then I feel, oh, oh epic. No, Diablo level cap is 100. Isn't it? Yes, yeah, 100. Don't you get your Paragon stuff at 50, and then the grind after 50 is a little... Whew. Like, whoo, whoo. Like, you gotta stuff yourself full of eclairs. You gotta, whoo, whoo. <laughs> After 50, the game's like, all right, now the real game begins, and it starts nodding and shaking its fist at you. And you're like, oh, I couldn't eat another bite. Oh, I'm stuffed. You're not stuffed. Eat more. <laughs> Why? 
Why is 100 a better magic number than 50? It's got three digits. Uh, obviously. Oh, your adventure, dig a die. Bye bye. Oh, I know. Do you want me to protect you? You want me? Oh, sorry. I was paying attention. Oop. Don't worry. I'm protecting you now. I didn't know. I accidentally started an event. Oop. I didn't know. I didn't know. How was I supposed to know? Don't worry, I put you into bubble. You love to bubble. Oh god, another wave? An extra wave, just for me as a little treat? You're welcome, adventurer. I love helping. You. Give me a big chest. I think I can manage from here. Please take this. The next game, Minecraft Mojang clones and turns into a Minecraft game. One second, let me read this. Let me let me check my axe. New axe. New amulet. All right. Um, the next game, Mojang clones and turns into a Minecraft game, should definitely be Skyrim. A Minecraft RPG would fuck. I'd rather j just like not do anything else with the Minecraft IP, like. Legends and Dungeons are weird games, and I'm glad they exist because they're very odd. But also, like, on a physical and mental and spiritual level, I just say rather not. Minecraft Diablo is already Dungeons, yeah. That's already a Minecraft RPG. I did, yeah, dun no, they already made Minecraft Dungeons. That's already a Minecraft RPG. They already did it. That's literally dungeons, yeah. And ain't nobody play dungeons. Ain't nobody play legends either. So I'm I'm wondering if they're if they're thinking, oh fuck, alright, what do we do with the Minecraft IP now? Because people play dungeons for a little bit because it was weird and then stop. And then people played legends for a little bit because it was weird and then stop. Fuck, what do we do now? That's better. I got socket. I'll take it. You get 48 willpower with that. I'll put a couple orb in there. Oh, wrong orb. I got an extra orb. We'll just toss those in. Oh, I have a level. Shit. Don't burn me. How to get burned? Don't burn me. Don't touch me. I don't know you. New pants. Wow. Oh, shoes are better. Eh, new shoes. Why not? You get a max evade. I don't care about this shrine buff stuff, but I like the max evade charge. That's nice. What if Minecraft, but Steve had large naturals, huge naturals? Listen, I was talking about it. There's a, going to be, and already is, an increase in Minecraft-based pornography. So many people be confused and they'd be like, why do I want to see square tits? Why? Why am I commissioning this artist $75 for a picture of square tits creeper getting fucked endlessly? I, like, it's happening. It's already out there in the real. It's less that there's an increase in it, more that you're only noticing it now. I mean, I'm only noticing it because for some reason that shit's popping up in my TikTok feed. I'm like, why is this person 
inflating a creeper to be nice and big and round. Why does this keep why does this creeper have breasts? It's like, you know, better not to ask those questions. I oh, know I despise TikTok's algorithm. I don't know why, but I get the fucking most heinous shit. And then I watch one Spider-Verse video, and it gives me only Spider-Verse videos, even though I haven't seen the movie yet. And not even like videos about Spider-Verse, not just videos about Spider-Verse. Videos that are literally- oh shit, he's running. I didn't even see him, I didn't see him, he's just a little guy. Come here. You almost got away, didn't you? You almost got away, you son of a bitch. You better drop an orange for me. You know what? Drop two oranges. I fucking dare you. No oranges. Fuck this dude. This dude's a dickhead. Treasure! But yeah, like, uh, I fucking, I had to go and hit not recommended on five videos in TikTok that were just showing me actual clips from the new Spider-Verse movie without context. And I had to go through and, like, individually hit not recommended, not recommended, not recommended, not recommended, not recommended, not recommended, like, 15 times in a fucking row. Before the algorithm was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll, I'll show you more Minecraft porn. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> I know what you want now. I, I get it, I get it, I get it. I know what you want to see. You want more Minecraft porn, don't you? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> no. 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 You might want to do that for The Flash if you want to watch it. Oh, fuck The Flash. I don't want to see that movie. I w if I ever watched the new Ezra Miller Flash movie... I will watch it on, like, HBO Max, drunk in a Discord call, and that's the only way I'm going to watch that movie. That movie is getting Justice League Snyder Cut treatment. I'm not watching that movie without people. That movie is getting Black Adam treatment. It is, it is Discord while I'm drunk, and that's it. Oh, sorry, Max. I mean Max. Sorry, it's not HBO Max. Sorry. I mean Max. Hit streaming service, Max. Oh, Max. HBO Max. It's not HBO Max, Brendan. It's Max. It's just Max. <laughs> Screaming. I'm a conduit. I'm a conduit. I'm conduit. Famous Wii video game conduit. I gotta get a Wii U at some point here. I really gotta buy a Wii or a Wii U. There's so much crap. There's so much scrap on the Wii. Aw, oh, damn it, it ran out. Of course it ran out the second I get to a guy. I bet that hammer is better than my hammer. Almost fucking guarantee it. My daddy is stronger than your daddy. Actually, not for once. Wild. Disney finally got the solo Hulk film right. Oh, good. I, that's crazy. Remember, wasn't Edward Norton the fucking Hulk? And then they were like, no, nah, no, nah, for the Marvel verse, we're just going to change it to uh, what's his name? John Funkmeyer, I can't remember his fucking name. Mark Ruffalo. I want a Wii U, but I know I'm going to be tempted. Did you see... How much Devil's Third goes for? Do you see how much that game goes for? Because, like, I know I'm going to be tempted. But that game is, like, $300 now. <laughs> I 
Who the fuck is paying $300 for Devil's Third? That game should be a bargain bin game. Come the fuck on. Brennan just mod it. Ah, uh, no. I'm not so stinky. Soul shot. Get fucking owned. Activate my shield. I was supposed to go uppies. Oh, I gotta destroy the fallen idols. Somebody see where Harrison Ford was asked about Red Hulk appearing in a Marvel movie he's playing and his response was, what's Red Hulk? I love Harrison Ford handing out L's to nerds. Like, you think Harrison Ford is gonna know what your nerd shit is? He's not. He doesn't care. He's still thinking about that movie he was on where he yelled, get off my plane, where's my family? That's his literal mindset. Man is old. Let him just do whatever. He's collecting heat paycheck. Get off my plane. Where's my family? I'm iced. Harrison Ford is playing the character that turns out to be the Red Hulk. Yeah, Harrison Ford doesn't know that. He's old. He gets handed a script and he's like, Thank you. I will read these words. Please don't fucking CGI me. Please don't bring me back as Han Solo, but as a Force ghost, don't you fucking do it. Harrison Ford has nightmares about being Han Solo again. Harrison Ford has nightmares about being Han Solo the same way I have nightmares about me working at Best Buy again. Like, Honey, it happened again. I sold somebody the Han Solo credit card. <laughs> Harrison Ford is the most relatable actor because he just does not give a fuck. And I appreciate that for him. I do. Love that for him. Harrison Ford doesn't know where he is half the time. And I love that for him. He thinks, get off my plane. <laughs> Harrison Ford, how do you feel about the MCU? I feel I'm going to be getting a fat and hefty paycheck. My wallet is fat and full with girth. Harrison Ford, how do you feel about the last Indiana Jones movie? My wallet is so fucking fat. Get off my plane. Man's just out there doing a funny job. He's just out there having a good time. He actually does love Indiana Jones. Yeah, I mean, Indiana Jones is a fun character. And also, like, it's not fucking Han Solo. And also, people, I would understand why he would like Indiana Jones way more than Han Solo. Uh, because out of the two iconic characters he, he's played, people who like Star Wars gotta be way more insufferable than people who just like Indiana Jones. Uh, Harrison, Harrison. How, what, how do you feel about the Kessel Run and the 12 Parsec? Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford, 
I love you in Star Wars. I dressed up like Han Solo every year when I was baby. <sighs> like, like foaming at the fucking mouth, like. <gasps> Like, now, I would also despise being in Star Wars if I was in Star Wars. Where the shaman's lair at? Do I have another, like, open part of the map? Oh, here it is. I found it. The squall. This sneeze. <laughs> Ooh, God. Ooh, I could feel my soul leaving my fucking body. Ooh. Does a Han Solo credit card actually exist? I mean, you could probably trick the system into getting a... I mean, I'm sure Disney probably has some kind of credit card system. I don't know about a Han Solo one per se, but I would not be surprised if Disney works with a bank to have their own credit card. Most companies do that, well, well, they're, well, well, where they will work with a bank to get their own special credit card. I think Sony also has a credit card. I don't know if Xbox does, but I know that Sony does. You buying Destiny 2 Silver with your Sony credit card? Mm. Oh, Shelby, that's crazy. You redeemed 15. Oh, because I can't pause this, so... I'll do that after I kill this guy. I don't make the rules, I just make the rules. Alright. Gotta take care of the streamer. Get up here. Oh, stretch. No. Oh, ow. I hurt my neck. I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ugh. Oof. Ah, uh, another one. All right, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I just sat down, but that's fair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's fair. I gotta, gotta get a big sip of water after that. Oof. All right, we doing 45 today. All right, 15 again. All right, all right, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, all right, all right. Uh, fair, 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 fair. Good redeems, good redeems. You've been sitting too long, Brendan. We gotta percolate your bones, bitch! <laughs> gotta get that bone marrow working, bro. Gotta percolate that bone marrow, bro. Your bone marrow's not perky enough, dude. We gotta percolate those bones. I did hurt my neck a little bit doing that, though. Ow. I think I, like, cracked my neck while I was stretching. <sighs> I'm fine. Oh. That's just all the blood in my body waking up. Humming again. I can feel the life force surging. Let us not waste a moment. Help me wake up the runestone and restore to Dalra. It's working. We woke it up. That's epic. Last step. The power of the stones lingers with you. I don't know what that means. Let's wake this shit up. Thank you. You've reawakened this place. How oh, you know you're approaching 30? Listen. That's all you people talk about like more body pain with age, but my body has always been in pain. 
constantly and consistently, I've always had body pain. Like, the aging pain, it just it ain't nothing new. Body still feels like shit with or without age. It just, it just is awful. Body do be falling apart with or without me. Oh, Braystag. That was the per area, area peria I wanted to go to. We're going to do the 30th birthday stream. We're going to be playing Minecraft. And it's going to be fucking epic. June 29th. Get ready for it. The big birthday bash. I'm going to get so wasted on White Claw. It's going to be awesome. You're going to be able to point the soy face and say, Minecraft! Will it be a server or just you? I'll never tell. I have I have a plan. There is a plan. It is it is it is it is it is a half-assed plan, but it is a plan. There is a plan. Not just not just Minecraft. There is a plan. I hope it is a good stream. I hope people enjoy it. But I don't want to talk about it because that would spoil it. And I don't want to spoil the fun. Yeah, I'm, uh, what do I say? I'm getting sinister. Great mall. That better? Not better. that was. Sometimes I just want to be able to kill enemies faster. Why am I so small? Right, if you had an ant evil anti-you like every game reviewer in the 2010s had, what would it be? <sighs> They're already out there. I don't need an evil me. There is already an anti-Brendan out there. They're, they're already out there in the world. They're already out there. I can't stop them. They're already out there. I need more time. They're just, they're just out there in the world. They're already out there. I can't do anything about it. Dude. They're just, they're already out there. What am I going to do? They're already out there. Nad nerb. <laughs> They're already out there. We can't do anything about it. They're already out there. You know how they say everybody has at least one double? They gotta be already out there. They already gotta be plotting the next move. They're already out there. I want my evil version to be hyper confident and just like he just like is a dentist. Evil anti-Brendan. He's just a dentist 
he makes a killing, but he saves all the teeth. He loves sports. He goes to every sports show. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I Here's the thing, is like talking about an anti-Brendan leads us dangerously close down the dark applier path. And I don't want to think about that. I... It gets us dangerously close to those moments. Where were you when the witch came back? I was sitting at home and I said, The witch, not again. But where were you when the witch came back? took that fucking ability, but it's going to initiate every single time on its own, which is fine, because I'm also going to initiate every single time on my own, but... Oof. I hope the witch... I'm, I'm hoping the witch's curse is over. I mean, we killed the witch in Choo Choo Charles. We did the witch quest, so I think we're done. The witch, I think the witch is done. I think we're, we're done with the witch's curse, thankfully. I thought we were on the warlock arc. Now there's a, there's a warlock now. We got rid of the witch. There's a warlock now that we have to fight. And then when we're done with the warlock, we'll be done. Hopefully. Unless somebody hires a wizard or a sorcerer. An alchemist to brew and cast spell. Ow. Oh, did we make it to the town? We're there. I can freaking waypoint. Not while I'm in town. Oh, where am I on that? Close. All right. Um. Yeah, we're done. I think for today. I think I'm out of my cranky arc, so I'll figure out maybe something fun for tomorrow. Uh, I'll try to think of something fun for tomorrow if we're fully out of the cranky arc. But I appreciate y'all. Thank you for coming to the Diablo stream. I don't know how many more times we're going to play Diablo. I'd like to at least beat the story on stream, but that's probably going to be it. Hope you have a good rest of your Thursday, though, and I will see you tomorrow at normal times. Before I go, I'm going to shill. Creator code Brent Daniel. If you buy anything on the Epic Game Store, it helps me out a ton. If you don't use the Epic Game Store, don't worry about it. Then there's always videos over on Brent Daniel, too. You can watch stream highlights there. A video on Fracture just went up today. All right. Bye-bye. Hope you have good Thursday and a fat meal to go with it.